Welcome back, Gridiron fans. I'm your online host, Andrew Homan. We have a big matchup week this week for the TVC Ohio champs, and so we brought Michael Drapcho on desk. You know the Spartans, they're facing off with Rock Hill, who's a solid 6-3 and three team. What should we expect from them? Well, the Redmen love to load up the line of scrimmage, put their quarterback Mason Darby under the center, and just hand off to either Chance Blankenship or Danny Long. You know, Blankenship and Long combined for 1,593 yards and 20 touchdowns in the regular season. There's not a whole lot of deception with Rock Hill. You know, they want to run it straight at you, and they don't care if you know that they're going to run it straight at you. It'll make for an interesting matchup, though, because the strength of this Alexander defense is its front seven's ability to stop the run. That'll definitely be a great matchup to watch. Now, what matchup should we be looking for on the other side of the ball? Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure if there's one particular matchup to watch, but every time he steps on the field, you have to keep your eye on Mason Chapman. But Coach Penrod stressed getting all their playmakers like Lucas Thompson and A.J. Marks involved. And another thing to watch is that Alexander likes to play quickly. They like to keep the tempo up. But Rock Hill likes to slow, slow things down. So this week, the Spartans are really trying to ramp it up even more to try to speed up the Redmen. We'll have to see which side of that battle wins out, Michael. But tell me, which team will win out in this one? Well, like I said, it'll be an interesting matchup because when Rock Hill has the ball, it's a battle of these teams' strengths. And then when Alexander has the ball, it's a battle of contrasting styles. So, you know, I really think that Alexander is going to be able to speed up Rock Hill. So I think they take this one 27 to 14. It'll definitely be a tough matchup, but I can see that happening. Thanks a lot, Michael. Make sure that when you're out at your game Friday night that you're using our brand new postseason hashtag, Glory Days. That way that if your tweet is good enough, it can end up on our show. For Michael Drapcho, I'm Andrew Homan. Thanks for watching.